The best midsize SUVs have the space, comfort, technology, and performance to satisfy a wide range of people. Whether you're carting kids around town, going on a family road trip, or just transporting a lot of your stuff, a midsize SUV can usually get the job done. This is Karsties, and in this episode, we bring you the best midsize SUVs for 2020. The Toyota Highlander is a good midsize SUV. Aside from its cramped third row, this vehicle has a few glaring weakness. Some of this Toyota's positive attributes include a comfortable ride and an upscale interior. However, in some respects like interior quality, acceleration, and handling the Highlander trails the rest. The base Toyota Highlander has a starting MSRP of $34,600. Next to the Buick Enclave and Toyota 4Runner, the Highlander is one of the most expensive vehicles in its class. Inside, the Highlander boasts some handsome materials, with soft plastic and excellent fit and finish. The sole engine in this Toyota is a 3.5-liter V6 that makes 295 horsepower and 263 pound-feet of torque. It's paired with an 8-speed automatic transmission. The engine produces sufficient power for most driving situations. It doesn't feel as energetic or capable as what you'll find in rivals, but it's perfectly serviceable. The transmission generally makes smooth shifts. The Ford Edge is a solid choice among midsize SUVs. In fact, we named it in our list on account of its combination of value, quality, solid combination of cargo and passenger space, safety and reliability ratings, positive reviews from automotive journalists, and family-friendly features. The Edge boasts spry acceleration and well-mannered handling, giving a better overall performance than many class rivals. It also has plenty of passenger space and an impressive amount of cargo room for a mid-size two-row SUV. Ford's infotainment system is user-friendly and easy to operate, though the graphics are a little underwhelming compared to some rivals. The 2020 Ford Edge starts at $31,100, which is about average for a mid-size SUV. Its two mid-range trim levels retail for $34,355 and $38,100. All of those models come standard with a turbocharged four-cylinder engine and front-wheel drive, all-wheel drive is optional for $1,995. The performance-oriented Ford Edge ST costs $43,265. It features standard all-wheel drive and a twin-turbocharged V6 engine. Most materials in the Edge's cabin are impressive, and the build construction feels sturdy. The cabin keeps most outside road and wind noise at bay, even at speed. However, the Edge features some hard plastic surfaces, which are more prevalent in lower trims. The 2020 Ford Edge is powered by a turbocharged 2.0-liter four-cylinder engine that's good for 250 horsepower. The Edge has peppy acceleration from a stop, and its standard eight-speed automatic transmission delivers generally smooth and timely shifts. Power and torque are better on the low end, as this SUV feels a little underwhelming when cruising or passing at higher speeds. The performance-oriented Edge ST features a twin-turbocharged 2.7-liter EcoBoost V6 engine with 335 horsepower. This sporty model is powerful, but it can suffer from turbo lag when you hit the throttle hard from a standstill. The 2021 Volkswagen Atlas is a good midsize SUV, and it's available in two- and three-row variants. Both provide enough generous seating space and cargo room, along with many standard driver assistance features, including blind spot monitoring and forward collision warning. The Atlas earns praise for its easy-to-use infotainment system, which supports Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. It also rides and handles well for an SUV for its size. Pricing for 2021 VW Atlas starts at $30,545 for 5-seat models and $31,545 for 7-seat models. 
prices climbed to $48,995 for the Atlas top trim level. The cabin filters out most road and wind noise, even at highway speeds, and the interior styling is clean and minimalist. The 2021 VW Atlas is offered with two engine options, a 2.0-liter turbocharged four-cylinder with 235 horsepower and 258 pound-feet of torque, and a 3.6-liter V6 with 276 horsepower and 266 pound-feet of torque. An 8-speed automatic transmission and front-wheel drive are standard with both engines, all-wheel drive is available. The 2020 Honda Pilot is a good midsize SUV. It delivers a smooth ride, and fuel economy is good for the segment. Inside, the Pilot carries up to eight people on comfortable seats, uses plenty of quality materials, and comes standard with a fair amount of driver assistance technology. It also offers a long list of available tech features. The Pilot sports a base price of $31,550. That's a reasonable starting price for the midsize SUV class. The range-topping Pilot Black Editon which is an all-new trim for 2020 starts at $49,620. This Honda looks pretty good inside, even if its design feels a little stale. There are plenty of premium materials throughout the cabin. Many rivals, however, use even better materials. All Pilot models come with a 280-horsepower V6 engine. It's mated to a 6-speed automatic transmission in lower trims and a 9-speed automatic in higher trims. In each setup, you'll find that the V6 delivers more than enough power to move the pilot, whether you're driving around town or cruising down the highway. The 2020 Chevrolet Traverse makes for a great everyday vehicle, particularly if you carpool regularly or have a big family. There are three rows of spacious seats, and this Chevrolet rides smoothly, even over rough roads. The Transverse gets decent gas mileage, has plenty of cargo space, and comes with an easy-to-use infotainment system. It has a solid combination of cargo and passenger space, safety and reliability ratings, available family-friendly features, and positive reviews from automotive journalists. The Traverse carries a base price of $29,800. That's a typical starting price of for the class, though it's far from the lowest. Prices gets higher as you climb the trim ladder. Mid-level trims like the LT cloth and LT leather start in the mid to high $30,000, while the range topping high country starts at $50,000. Inside, the Traverse provides plenty of space and offers lots of features, but it doesn't match the quality of some competitors. All Traverse models feature a 310 horsepower V6 engine and a smooth shifting 9 speed automatic transmission. This Chevy is not Trackstar, but this engine provides enough power for your everyday driving needs. The 2020 Dodge Durango offers a plush ride, welcoming seating for up to eight people, and easy-to-use infotainment features. While acceleration from the Durango's base engine is merely adequate, its optional V8 engines deliver much more power. The 2020 Dodge Durango starts at $30,495, which is about average for a midsize SUV. Rear-wheel drive is standard, and most trims offer all-wheel drive for additional $2,600. The sporty Durango RT retails for $43,995, and the high-performance Durango SRT costs $62,995. The interior quality of the Durango ranges from adequate in the base model to upscale, as you move up into higher trims. Some models offer quality leather and suede upholsteries, as well as upholstered dashboards and consoles. Still, the Durango has gone almost a decade without a full redesign. The 2020 Durango comes equipped with a standard V6 engine that puts out up to 295 horsepower. That's a decent amount of muscle for a V6. While this engine gets the Durango moving from a stop just fine, it can feel underwhelming when accelerating at higher speeds. The Durango SRT features a 475 horsepower 6.4 liter V8. In fact, the SRT can launch from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 4.4 seconds.
The 2020 Mazda CX-9 is an excellent midsize SUV. It stands out in a crowd of humdrum handling rivals with some of the best driving dynamics in the class. It has a comfortable ride, and its fuel-efficient engine packs plenty of power for most driving situations. This Mazda comes with many cutting-edge features, including a suite of driver assistance technologies. The cabin features upscale materials and attractive styling. The 2020 Mazda CX-9 starts at $33,790. The top-of-the-line CX-9 signature trim has a starting price of $46,115. Inside, the CX-9 looks nicer than its price would suggest. Its cabin features handsome styling and is outfitted with top-notch materials, including real wood accents and upper trims. The 2020 CX-9's turbocharged four-cylinder engine is quite a powerhouse. Its 227 horsepower rating may not seem like much, but the CX-9 is no slowpoke. Acceleration is quick from a stop, and highway passing is easy. A six-speed automatic transmission is standard, and most critics agree that it's a good match for this engine. The brand new vehicle. 2020 Kia Telluride has seating for up to eight in a high-end cabin, and you'll be treated to a gentle ride. The Telluride comes with a generous list of driver aids, a large cargo hold, and a lengthy warranty. We named the Telluride third because of its combination of quality and value. It has the best combination of cargo and passenger space, safety and reliability ratings, positive reviews from automotive journalists, and available family-friendly features. The Telluride has a decent off-road capability. The Telluride comes in four trims, with the base LX trim starting at $31,690. The top-of-the-line SX trim, however, retails for less than the top-level trims of many rivals, the SX starts at $41,490. The Telluride has a handsome cabin full of soft-touch surfaces and quality materials. All Tellurides come with a 3.8-liter V6 engine that produces 291 horsepower and 262 pound-feet torque. It is paired with an 8-speed automatic transmission. This powertrain ably tackles most driving situations, from twisting hills to busy streets, and provides plenty of highway passing power. The 2020 Hyundai Palisade is a good midsize SUV. It has seating for up to eight people with lots of legroom in each row. There's tons of cup holders and USB ports to appease everyone on board, as well as ample cargo space for your whole crew. We named the Palisade as number two because it has a solid combination of cargo and passenger space, safety and reliability ratings, positive reviews from automotive journalists, and available family-friendly features. All models have elegant interior, and a balanced plush ride keeps passengers comfortable. The Palisade's standard V6 engine moves this big Hyundai SUV with ease. Techies will appreciate the user-friendly infotainment system, and the larger the optional screen is sure to wow. Standard safety technology includes forward automatic emergency braking, adaptive cruise control and pedestrian monitoring. Prices for the Palisade start at $31,775. Models with all-wheel drive start at $33,475. The top-of-the-line Palisade Limited will set you back around $45,000. 291 horsepower. The Palisade interior has elegant styling and soft-touch materials that rival some premium brands. The fit and finish is high quality, and there are a number of clever touches such as cup holders that recess at the touch of a button to expand the center console storage area. The Palisade comes with a 291 horsepower 3.8 liter V6 engine that's paired with an 8 speed automatic transmission. This powertrain is polished and responsive, moving this large vehicle with relative ease. The 2020 Hyundai Santa Fe is a good midsize SUV. It has just about everything most people look for in a vehicle. Good gas mileage, a smooth ride, comfortable seats, and a quiet cabin. Additionally, there are plenty of standard and available tech features, and you don't need a PhD to use them. The Santa Fe's base price is $26,125. The top-of-the-line Santa Fe Limited starts at $35,975. 185 to 235 horsepower. Climb inside the Santa Fe, and you are greeted by an attractive cabin with high-end materials. Also, this SUV is quiet at highway speeds. You should look past the Santa Fe's 185 horsepower four-cylinder base engine. This power plant generally fails to impress. 
A better choice is the available 235 horsepower turbocharged four-cylinder engine. It delivers much better acceleration than the base engine and never feels underpowered. Hope this video helped you figure out a perfect SUV for yourself. If you liked this video, make sure you subscribe to this channel right now. That way you don't miss out on more. See you in the next one.